Nick Silvanch here with Hector Ingram with Ingram and Company Appraisers uh, and we're going to have a commercial conversation about the appraisal process and what appraisers do with with commercial real estate and real estate in general um, because they're a big key component for us when we're working on a sale or we're working on an investment sale um, it's not just necessarily you know the typical oh we're going to go take a look at this house I'm sure there's a lot of things that go into uh, how to value a property and Hector's going to shed some of that light. So with that being said, Hector, you want to tell us who you are, what you are, how long you've been doing it and all the, the, the fun stories. Okay, sure. So, um, I'm Hector Ingram. I own Ingram and company. We're a seven appraiser shop. We handle commercial, uh, complex residential and land appraisals in New Hanover, Penda, Brunswick County, also into Onslow and Columbus. Oh, great. Right. Some of the hunting uh, tracks will go a little bit further afield. Okay. Um, I've been appraising in Wilmington since 1991 and uh, had my own company since 1995. Nice. Done a lot of appraisal. Well, good. Well, good. So, obviously, that's a, a ton of experience. And already, as we were talking about uh, some sidebar comments, uh, do you go hunting when you hunt, when you, when you appraise the hunting land? So generally not, but I do um, look at the land for the uh, purpose of maybe hunting there in the future. Okay. And uh, I've appraised a lot of land that belongs to friends where we do hunt. Okay. Um, typically this land is, is being stockpiled for future development down the road. Right. If it's around Wilmington, some of the stuff that's further afield has impoundments and, and you know other infrastructure that make it desirable or point blinds up in Currituck County. Right. Look at those from time to time. Okay. So, all right. Um, so how did you decide to be an appraiser? Did you just wake up one day and said, by golly, I think I want to value things? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, so before I moved to America, my mother made me take a, a kind of a vocation test. Mm -hmm. And it said that I should be a farmer, mm -hmm. a banker, an army officer, or um, what we call in England, a uh, chartered surveyor or valuer. Mm -hmm. So after leaving, I grew up on a farm. I um, left high school and went to the military academy in England and served as a young officer there. Left the army and went work worked for a bank in London, a chemical bank. Didn't like that at all. And uh, then came to Chapel Hill to study. Okay. The vocation left on the list was uh, valuer, so I started looking into it. Well, that's great. So you 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 took the. Your mom gave you a test of what you should be in life, and you just went down the list right. and checked it all up and said, this is the one that sticks. That's right. I've got no more vacations left. So uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, what do you, you know, that's that's awesome. What do you see as one of the greatest challenges uh, we have facing the commercial real estate world at this time? Um, real estate as opposed to appraisal of real estate. Yes, both. So the cost of money is right. going to be an issue in the short term. Um, I think the political system is a little unstable for really long-term planning. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of um, tech jobs that um, people are being put back on the market. Right. Um, you know, a lot of the growth we've seen for the industrial market in Wilmington has been tech-based. Right. Um, a lot of the very high-end um, properties that we have seen sold in the Wilmington market have been tech people buying them or um, higher-end folks working for tech companies in, in Raleigh and Cary. Who might be looking at Asheville and Wilmington for a pied de terre where they can spend two or three days a week and work from home. Okay. Um, okay. I think the medical market is fairly stable at the moment. Um, the recent takeover of the hospital by Novant has probably shelved some plans for people. Uh, the office market is a little bit in limbo, I believe, while we work out how many people are going to be continuing to work from home. You see yeah. this? Well, it's like um, Thermo Fisher, the, the building downtown is is beautiful to look at, but it's not lit up at night anymore like it used to be, yeah. because a lot of those folks are working from home. That's correct. Instead of going into that 13-story building downtown. That's correct. So, 